Now, the top of the show, we were chatting about Cheltenham. And, you know, with 20 to 1 winners, 10 to 1 winners, 6 to 1 winners, we're talking about all these winners. And more people talking about no beards on Noel Hayes. Is, it, uh, is everyone forgotten about it now? Eating bread is quickly forgotten. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on to the next one, really. Who cares about the last winner? It's finding the next one now, really. Yeah, right. Well, let's talk about Classical Dream because I know so many were very impressed with another winner, of course, for Willie Mullins in the uh, Supreme. And how far can this horse go is the question. You think very far. Yeah, I mean, there's look, there's nothing original about picking up an impressive winner and, and highlighting him as a horse for the future. I think he was probably a very good winner of an average renewal is the way I feel about it. But to the eye, he reminds me of Vautour. He reminds me of Faheen. Um, so he, you know, he really is an exceptional winner. He's gone here on softer. He won uh, uh, Dublin Racing Festival on good ground in Leopardstown, so he's obviously adaptable on the ground. It'd be interesting to see where to go. I know if he was mine, I'd be sticking firmly to the champion hurdle route, and I can see him taking top rank in the champion hurdle route. I think he's best price tens for a champion hurdle. If you knew for sure he was going there. I'd, I'd say that that's a bet, but obviously there's a little bit of an unknown here. We've often heard a couple of different uh, voices in, in the paddock in terms of, yeah, he's going to go champion here, yeah. and then suddenly, oh yeah, well maybe he'll he'll jump a fence. So yeah. obviously a lot of time. A lot of time. I'm just looking at him here. Like the, the horse was do, like he was doing a half speed when others were were, were flat out. Like he, he's clearly a very good horse. And I said that the last time we were here chatting before Cheltenham, it was so significant that this horse had won a maiden hurdle, and Ruby got off a Grade One winner in Aramon to ride this guy in favour of Arman. So it speaks to the opinion that Ruby had of the horse. Obviously, he didn't let him down. A very, very impressive winner here. He's got tactical speed. He obviously stays very well also. I think he's, got, he's probably got the ingredients he'd want in a champion hurdler. And I guess a few people would be kind of crabbing the form of the race. You know, we say it's an average renewal, but this guy did everything right. I mean, he was on his toes in the paddock. He was very free to post, and it looked like he, he might just actually melt. Yeah, to be fair to the horse, he can only beat what's there, and he did it in very convincing style. And there was a false start in this race, and the horse had his head buried on the turf nearly. He was going to pick up some grass. And I thought, oh, God, the tapes go up here. This guy is going to pull his head off and he's going to you know race his way away race his chance away in the first half of the race couldn't be further from the truth he, he actually, looked like he, a lunatic well, though Martin yeah, yeah. didn't he, he did a lovely racing I style. watched him go into post and, and he had his head buried down and he was like a bucking bronco when yeah. he first set off and as you said he broke the tape but once they were under orders and off he was he actually settled well didn't he yeah he, he, he was like a lamb yeah he was very good very good very professional now he obviously had plenty of experience uh, of from racing in France as well I think he might have had four or five stars in France before he came to Ireland but look a very good winner you know, of, of what I think might be an average race, but time might prove me wrong in that as well. Um, but he's a very exciting horse and one to look forward to. 